Y'all are all trained to teach triple C, right? Somebody said this down there and then. And there's a tourniquet right there. Well, there is. Wake up. Calm down and think. These trainees are performing life-saving first aid on a mannequin. You guys are my cover. Let's go. Yep. It's part of a combat exercise at Air Force Basic Military Training, simply known as the village. No! Put your weapon down! Oh, you two, stop! And it's one of the final exercises of Beast Week, or Basic Expeditionary Airman Skills Training, the culminating event of BMT. Move forward, move forward. The trainee's mission is to infiltrate the village and then locate and rescue a wounded airman in less than three minutes. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. You're dead. But instructors acting as opposing forces, both hostile and non-threatening, and the simulated sounds of explosives and gunfire create an intimidating environment. You're dead. You weren't paying attention to me. I was right in front of you the whole time with the weapon. Located approximately six miles from Lackland Air Force Base, the village is filled with dilapidated buildings and broken down cars simulating the look and feel of a town that airmen might encounter during a deployment. Each team of trainees is briefed on their mission. Hey, you gotta go in there fast, all right? Once you hit the village, you don't hesitate. You gotta go right in, and you're gonna go find that down airman. Make sense? Yes, yes sir. sir. The right's gonna go first, left second, middle last, that way we can cover them. Copy? Yes, sir. Perfect, let's hit it. Trainees march along a one and a half mile trail to reach the village. Watching out for unexploded explosive ordinances or UXOs. Welcome, village chief, village chief, come. Upon arriving at the village, the trainees are met by instructors acting as opposing forces. Uh, you looking for a friend, sir? Friend? Yes, sir. Airmen? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. The trainees assess the situation to determine whether or not they pose a threat and enter the village to locate the downed airmen. Move forward, move forward. Adding stress, adding sounds, explosions, simulated IEDs. Like I want them to be able to think under that stress and be able to react in that stress appropriately. All bunched up. Let's go. Make a decision, community. Hey, hold, hold. Most often they don't. They freeze up. At first I thought I was just gonna rush in and like know what to do, but I still froze. Like I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to run. At one point. An instructor tested this trainee by walking up and slowly taking away their weapon. Can, can I see? Oh, thank you. Somebody tries to take your weapon. The appropriate response would have been use minimum force. Go, oh, white building! Oh. White building! Yeah. Trainees are taught to use minimal force on non compliant individuals and are only supposed to use deadly force on those who exhibit a clear capability and intent to harm. Put your weapon, Put your weapon above your head! Oh, oh, your head. head. But nerves can get the best of some trainees. Put your hands up! Five times Why did you shoot me? You have a grenade in your hand and a weapon in your hand, sir. But how did you know it was a grenade? You're that far away, you don't know. And I'm not pointing my weapon at you, why would you shoot me? Because of that heightened stress that we put them on, they tend to forget which type of force they're gonna use in what scenario. Trainees utilizing deadly force when they're not supposed to be sets us back in a mission that we're trying to accomplish overseas. Trainees also have to look out for mock IEDs. The booby charts I have in place, they are tripwire set or manually set. You wanna even see that right there? Yes, sir. You only think nothing was strange about it? They're supposed to be able to recognize the warning signs of an IED. More often than not, they don't recognize it, and they get dusted with baby powder. Y'all are all trained to teach her, we'll see, right? Somebody send this down there and then. Let's go! Once the trainees reach the injured airmen, they utilize their previous training in Tactical Combat Casualty Care, or TCCC. So with TCCC, they start applying things that they need to do to actually save that wingman's life and actually sustain them until actual medical personnel can be brought in and provide the proper care that they need. After successfully applying aid, the trainees must evacuate their downed airmen to safety to complete the objective. Communicate, make a decision, let's go. Let's go. Watch your muzzle. 
hey, this is why we train. Now, some of y'all made a couple of mistakes. I wouldn't call it too bad. What's some of the things you did poorly? Talk to me. Communication, sir. Communication. A lot of you all stalled right at that entrance. That's a normal behavior that we see out here. There's a lot of stalling. You're trying to feel it out. But well, y'all came up with a plan before you came out here, right? Yes, sir. Y'all need to follow that plan and execute. Get in, save the airmen, deal with everything as it comes because that's how it is real world. We don't have a plan for what it is out there. That's why we do it here. So y'all can start learning how to think on your feet quickly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Teamwork is important. There were times where they would sneak up behind you and nobody was paying attention to your back. So you just gotta stay aware and try your best not to be scared. Like it's hard to explain, but the less like shaky you are, the easier it'll be, the smoother it'll go. I like the running. I liked like ducking for cover. It kind of felt like the real thing. And that's what we're here for. It's actually very much a learning experience. We are here to expose weaknesses and mistakes. That way they can see it firsthand. Again, this is basic military training. So you're gonna learn some basic expeditionary skills. It lays that foundation. When they do go to their career fields and go through a more advanced expeditionary training, and then when they do go downrange, they'll be ready.